All right, yet another example of what happens if you're in Hollywood and you dare to speak out in support of a Republican candidate. Actress St Stacey Dash, known for her role in the 90s movie Clueless, among other great things that she has done, has been the victim of a vicious online attack after she posted this tweet when she endorsed Governor Romney. Quote, vote for Romney, the only choice for your future. Now, the vicious reaction from the left was almost immediate as Obama supporters attacked her race, urged, quote, kill herself. So I wonder, is the president going to pick up the phone and call Miss Dash as he did with Sandra Fluck. I'm not holding my breath, but we are learning tonight that Congressman Paul Ryan, in fact, did reach out to Stacey Dash, and apparently the two spoke. Joining me now, the author of the bestseller Blacklash, Deneen Borelli, and from the American Values Institute, Alexis McGill Johnson. Now, wait a minute. The President Civility reached out and called Sandra Fluck, um, took money from Bill Maher, who used the C word against Governor Palin. Is he going to call this actress, who, by the way, is a great actress, just has, she's supporting Romney? There's a double standard, Sean. I posted on Twitter, I was going to be on your program tonight. I was called a House Negro. I was called an Aunt Jemima. It goes on and on, because the real war is against black female conservatives, black conservatives. There's a war on women. That's the real war on women. And you Stacey start your Dash, book with this, though. You, yes, you I say, did. Google your name. Right. And what comes up? Well, I mean, some of the things I just mentioned, some things I can't even talk about on your program. But Stacey, she supported Obama previously. She's not supporting him now. And who can blame her? The man is an embarrassment. He's an empty suit, an empty chair, and he has a teleprompter he's got to take with him just to do a debate on national I've said television. For years, he's, he's, I think he sleeps with a teleprompter. Maybe he ought to lend one to Joe Biden come Thursday. But wait a minute. Why is this is a phenomenon that? Conservative African Americans, Deneen among them, and many others, friends of mine, people that I don't know, I don't know Stacey Dash, that if you're an African American, you're a conservative, it's free reign to call you any name you want to call somebody. And there's silence from the left. Why? The, the same left that wants to use racism, if you use the word Chicago now. Well, why the silence? It's deafening. Look, you know, I I think I don't begrudge Stacey her right to support Romney. I don't I don't We're begrudge not ask you that her question. right to support Romney. But why don't here's, here's why don't people it's actually, speak out? It's actually a, a culture of, of a lack of intolerance and a lack of respect across the board. I get those same emails when I come on this show. People who say, you know, you know, die you socialist B or what or N word. I don't doubt you. Do. I, no, listen, I usually but, read my but, emails too. But we all get that if you're in the I'm public saying, eye. But there's a difference. Conservative African Americans are excoriated and it's it seems to be acceptable in this politically no, I don't think correct it's world. It's never acceptable. I don't think it's acceptable at all. I think, it's I think it happens. I, it, no, it's not tolerated. But you I think do people condemn call out it. these comments. I do that condemn them. Of course against. I do, because I think they're completely inappropriate. I think I think that the real challenge for the for the GOP and for African Americans who are in the GOP is that that the GOP has not been a hospitable home to African Americans for the most part. Wait a minute. And wait, that's wait, 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 people, that's where people and what's are the drawing. What's the unemployment rate right. in the African American community? What's the unemployment rate right now in the African American community? It's too high. It's over 13 percent. 14.4 percent. Right. What is the uh, youth African-American unemployment rate under Obama? It's 50 percent. What, what is the Hispanic community unemployment rate under Obama? 11.3 percent. Yeah. So my question, so, you know, these are demographics that will, according to the polls, vote for Obama. What has he done for them? Those same unemployment rates existed under Reagan and they existed under Bush. Excuse so, me. you know, no, they you know black, black Americans have always been the canary in the mines when it comes to the economy. That we, we have always been uh, underemployed. Reagan and brought 21 million new true. jobs to the country. It, it is and the unemployment true. rate was not this high under Bush. Yes, you're right. No. Listen, I've been touring the country with Freedom Works, freepack.com, blackandwhitetour.com. We are educating people about being empowered and not relying on the government. Obama has failed our country. Country. He has especially failed the black community with high unemployment, the regressive uh, policies that are harming the energy industry. It's across the board. Here, but here's People the problem. Here's the problem. As a, as a black woman, this is, this is why I feel like Stacey Dash. This is, why I feel like Stacey Dash. this is why I feel like Stacey Dash is clueless. Okay, because why the, GOP, the GOP She's has been home to very extremist, that very extremist that rhetoric. Out, the GOP has become a party to She's legitimate rape, her voter ID laws, which are disenfranchising her. shouldn't be vilifying her. So wait, 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 w
Is that's that right. racist? Was, the, was, was that racist against me? And to get on a plane and a train a plane? in government well, buildings? To exercise There's nothing your racist constitutional about it. right because it's about voter suppression. It's about voter suppression. And to show an ID? Absolutely. To show an ID? This is why I'm touring the country telling people about the progressive policies that are killing our country. It's going to disenfranchise up to a million young African Americans. That's ridiculous. That is voter suppression. That's the reality. That's the reality. You should look at the research. That is absolutely. All right. When we come back, this debate will continue.